Hello, my name is Lois from goldenactivations.com. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that the topic resonates with you today. I wanted to speak about the ego and the journey that we take with the ego from the beginning of our life and the process as it unravels and we awaken and we begin the ascension process. So in the beginning, when we are deeply asleep in our waking life, when we are deeply immersed in the third dimension reality, where we are told what is successful and what isn't and we choose to possibly believe that um, pushing ourselves to accumulate is a good thing that um, what we own and acquire is a sign of success and that um, being extremely focused on achieving uh, where, where the heart is closed is very much part of the third dimension, the, the density that we all come into at the beginning. And for many, naturally, I'm just painting a very sort of black and white image just to create the, the image of the third dimension. But very often for many of us, we are much more sensitive than that. So we are playing the egoic games, but then there is, there is an awareness also that this isn't quite the natural state of things or the natural way of things and we don't feel fully comfortable in those roles but we go along we go along with these roles because it is what everybody is doing and for a time we may well be fearful of following our own heart and our own instincts because being different is very much um, too frightening a concept to be able to deal with at the beginning. So here in the beginning, the ego is very much part of us. We don't see it as a, a separated aspect of ourselves. We see it, it, it just, we, we don't even see it. We think it is normal and it is part of our personality. So, because we are also watching how others behave and we may well not resonate with those where the ego is extremely strong and blatant, but then again, we do have judgments and we do have ego, but we like to place ourselves possibly on the middle of the barometer of the ego. So it's still there, but it's just not, um, it's not a complete show off. Um, it is very clever and um, has immersed itself in us. We've, we've allowed it, it's enmeshed in us. We are part of it and it is part of us. And when we begin to awaken, and begin this journey of becoming more present in the now and becoming more sensitive to our, our feelings towards something and our inner reaction to something. We begin to recognize the ego more and more. It, became, it, becomes, it begins to show itself more to us and we begin to see it is it is only it is only an aspect of us and we may hold again judgments about this this 
aspect of us that we disapprove of, don't like, hide away sometimes, pretend, pretend it's not there, feel it um, and possibly don't want to acknowledge it but it is there. Um, we may label it as bad, uh, not a very nice thing. But then that's only the beginning of the process of recognising this aspect, this ego part of you, which is part of all of us. And as we move forward on this journey, recognising the ego and beginning to understand, we see in full circle in a way how the ego is transforming us in an extremely positive way. So we've begun by telling ourselves that this wily aspect of us, this coy and clever aspect of us that was immersed in us to begin with, now we begin to separate from it and see, but we may hold many judgments about it, um, disapprove of it, disapprove of an aspect of ourselves, but it is still there, present. And then as we move forward, we begin to see, we feel more of the ego. It may be very, very sensitive. It may be in someone's remark or someone's complimenting or um, in, in a way that you behave or react to something. And then you recognize, oh, that was a flutter of the ego there, enjoying that. And then the ego becomes your teacher. It's become, becomes something to ex really value and appreciate. How much, how much of the ego has been part, part of us playing, playing a role. And now, how much it is, because we are becoming more present and aware of it, how, how much of a teacher it is for us. It is continually showing itself to you now as, as you awaken more and more and go deeper within your journey of the heart when you are not coming from your purity. And so here, when we are in this place, we are able to see not with judgment when we feel that ego and it's very subtle um, or it can be very blaring. Whichever way it presents itself to you, it is your teacher. It is showing you when you're ne not coming from your absolute purity. And it's not there for you to judge it. It's just showing you, oh, there you are. That wasn't quite 100% pure there, Lois. So next time when we come to do this again now, let's, let's come from absolute purity and you'll be able to feel the difference and know how much you have moved forward and are moving forward. And it may happen again and again, just to teach you, to allow you to feel, to see again and again when you are maybe 80% there, 85% there, 90, 99% and boom, when you're completely in purity in those aspects. So the ego, is now presenting itself as our greatest teacher to be appreciated to be grateful for it because it's not an enemy it's not this alien nasty being it's an aspect of you that you have been able to completely turn around from being this negative force within you to being the most supreme positive force that could possibly show itself to you within you that's completely showing you a one-way system to your divinity and purity and alignment. And I think that in itself is just incredibly simply beautiful in the way all of this is so designed. I hope this is of assistance to you in some way and brings you some sort of clarity with much love.